Greetings everyone and welcome to this lecture series where we are going to be talking about document databases starting today with MongoDB. Now we've talked about the five genres of database management systems several times and we've asked this question, well, what database management system should we use for our particular project or application? And of course, it depends on all of these questions that we have been asking. So today we're going to be asking and answering these questions for MongoDB. Now, what type of database is MongoDB? Well, it's a document database. And the need that was driving the development of MongoDB was the need to interact with humongous data. And in fact, this is where the name MongoDB comes from. It's derived from the word humongous. Developers also had a desire to be able to interact with data in an object-oriented manner, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about what exactly that means throughout this series of lectures. Now, to this end, we interact with MongoDB through JavaScript and JavaScript Object Notation, or JSON. Now, what makes MongoDB unique? One, it is highly scalable, much like some of our other NoSQL databases, but it gives us a very high level of queryability, more so than many of our other non-relational database management systems. Now, the trade-off here is that MongoDB cannot give us a high level of guarantee around consistency. So unlike HBase, which is also highly scalable, uh, HBase has a shared disk architecture, meaning that it can give us a high guarantee of consistency. MongoDB is a shared nothing architecture. It depends on replication between the nodes over the network in order to synchronize data between different nodes in your MongoDB cluster. So we get eventual consistency, but we don't have strong consistency like we did with HBase. In MongoDB, we also have kind of a unique thing in that we deal with our data in an object-oriented manner. HBase gives us really high performance, it is very scalable, and it is a really great system to be using. So, in this series of videos, in video 6.1, we're going to answer the question just generally, what is a document? We're going to have a little bit of a history lesson around XML and JSON and why we use these technologies and why they're so powerful in this database context. Then in video 6.2, we're going to take what we learned in 6.1 and apply it in order to learn how to create documents, read documents, update documents, and delete documents in MongoDB. So let's go ahead and get started.